Okay, and welcome back to Old Time Gamer. Now, if you've seen the intro, you know what we're playing and you know what faction we're playing. We are playing Total War Medieval 2. Orders. And we are playing England. Now, as you might notice, uh, England has uh, territory in England and then territory in France. To anyone with even the basis of history knowledge, you'll know why we have lands in France. To anyone that doesn't, you'll be very, very confused. The exact reasons will not Just be discussed right. in this video, as they are not important. What is important, however, is that we need to kill some of these people. Yes, sir. Mainly the Don't French. Sail. We need to kill a lot of the French. Aye, sire. After all, Joining the fleet, sire. All of this land belongs to us. The French king? Yeah, no. He, he just doesn't understand. Yet. Orders. Now, to anyone that's a fan of Total War, you, you know how this game plays. Now, anyone that's a newer fr fan, as in you've played like Total War Warhammer or something like that, you're going to be deeply confused by a lot of what you're about to see. For starters, you might have already noticed, Sorry. this army doesn't have a general. Yes, that used to be a thing you can do. Orders. Now you have to have a general if you want to have an army, period. But, back in the olden days, that was not necessary. Orders, my lord, my lord. Joining the other side. Another thing that they used to have is a very, very, very large amount of agents. We have diplomats, merchants, princes, priests, cardinals, assassins, spies. Too, and I'm pretty sure there's some other ones that are not aware of. <clears throat> also, perhaps more importantly, even the rebels get their own things in the form of heretics. What? And also, we have movies. Yes, that man just snuck into their town by pretending to be a bush. Yes, that guard is blind. Now, in this game, a lot of the units are a bit different, bit similar than everyone, every other unit in every other Total War. Sire. Now, for starters, you have princesses, which are essentially diplomats, but also have the ability to marry other uh, notable generals. Which can bring them to our cause. And that's kind of yes, important, because no generals nice. give you a hell of a lot of buffs. They are... They, you may not need orders. them, but you're going to want them. Especially will, if you want to have a... Um, very successful deal as they make things... Ev forces, they make everything sire. easier to make to them, it is, they're just sire. so damn good. Of course, if you don't have a general, you'll have a captain will act like your general. Set it's just sail. not as good. Another thing you might notice is the construction is a bit different, as is recruitment. So, recruitment in the olden Total War, you have a certain amount of buildings that allow you a certain number of each unit. Depending on how many of those you have, you can build that many. You can only have a certain number of levy spearmen in your entire faction. You can only have a certain number of archers in your entire faction unless you build more training grounds for those archers. Daughter of the Crown. Yes. It's annoying. Yes. Yes. A lady needs her rest. It will be a pain in the ass. Yes, my lord. Now, first things first. To us about, we're gonna try and get trade rights with France. We oui. why not? You have Eventually. We're going to a be at war with them. While meeting, at your but service. right now, that's not going to help us much. Now, Journeying onward. there are resources all On over the way. map. Journeying onward. Like wine, On my hay, way. textiles, dyes, mines, ores, cheap, 
you name it, it's probably there somewhere. That's what the merchants come in. They go over there, you put them down there, and they will get extra money per turn. Now, the downside is other merchants, especially the, the kingdom that you are currently going to, do not like that. At all. And will try and kill you. But, of course, that's not how merchants work. They don't go around murdering people. They drive them out of business. Because that's fair. So they just seize rights and do all that. That's their own thing. Spies. Their merchants and assassins are ironically the only ones able to get rid of other enemy agents. Well, I guess actually a cardinal and a priest can do that with heretics. But I'll be showing that off more later. I want more mailed knights. Is there any other areas of recruitment I can do? I guess I can recruit a little bit. Yeah. Certain towns can only recruit this many. I said faction wide. I believe I was full of shit. Sorry. I apologize for that. I'm already in opening the video and I'm already lying to you guys. Oh. They threw my spy out. No, I'm not going to marry you. I'm not going to marry my princess character, which will take her. If I marry her off, she does leave. And I'm not going to marry her off to a 55-year-old man because he's going to die soon. 2,500 florins to take this county that I'm already going to take? Deal. Orders. Thank you, Council of Nobles. To war, then, sire. Prepare to assault the walls. We lay siege. Okay, now we're gonna go in, we're gonna see another thing that's kinda gone the wayside of modern Total War, and that's a speech. I shall lead our forces into battle, my lord. I'm just gonna mute myself. Time for battle has come, but it is not my way to send men into needless peril or throw lives away. Be assured, I will not ask any more of you than I would ask of myself. I ask only that you fight with honor and do not turn your back to the foe. Together, then, we will have victory, for such is to my taste and my custom in battle. These rebellious knaves and villains are not fit to breathe the same air as we honest Englishmen. They must all die before dawn comes again. This is a mercy, because they richly deserve the gallows for turning against their betters. And so let's be at it. I would dine soon. And a battle gives me a goodly appetite. I trust you will all dine with me! Yes, and I personally love speeches. Other people do not. Uh, I find they uh, add a bit of authenticity to it. I mean, after all, if you're about to go in the battle, does it? Bowl with men, wouldn't it be appropriate that you, you know, just give him a nice little speech? Now, towns and uh, castles are very different when you uh, try and attack them. Uh, certain ones will be very easy, as in this case, I just have to kind of just walk in. Uh, when they have walls, that's when you have to start breaching or bringing ladders, which requires more time to build crap. But right now, it's relatively simple, as I just kind of waltz in. Now... Another thing that's slightly different that I just figured I'd mention is, uh, in the newer Total Wars, if you, uh, kind of hold right-click, 
and then have your move men go in formation like that, they instantly start running towards it. Uh, in this one, that's not how it goes. I don't know why exactly that changed. But it did. I have no preference, really, as I can just make him run. Uh, I guess I, if I had to choose, I'd prefer uh, them uh, just walking at starting rather than just going a full-on run and tire themselves out. Now, um, some things to note at the bottom that are different is, for starters, uh, we have the special ability, which, if memory serves, every unit only has the one if they have any at all. And you'll find that even the lower using units at the Spear Militia have their own special formations. They also all have the ability to be in uh, loose formations or not. Uh, you'll also notice the little man in a jail cell. Yeah, uh, taking prisoners is a very big thing in this game, though not important at all when you're fighting rebels. Because if you take prisoners against, say, France, well, they might want to ransom them. <laughs> or kill them. It depends. As these guys are uh, connected to no noble faction at all, or even any important, and as he said, are all worthy of only the gallows, they will all be killed. So prisoners are kind of important, not important when you're uh, fighting them. I need to get my men. They're about to get shot. I'm waiting for is for my rest of my armies to get in position so that they can crush all that he wakes. They realize I just have more archers than that. Actually, do I? I have the same number. If anything, it looked like they were winning that little archer contest. Now, if they're in these little flags, they will not retreat at all. So they'll fight to the death. I don't recall ordering you to attack, but I guess I won't. Oh, that's rather silly what you've just done as well. Now I can just kill you. Holy. General. Now, as appropriate, in medieval times... This, oh, there's their general, the or captain. In medieval times, a uh, heavy cavalry charge are effective. A heavy cavalry charge in the rear is particularly effective, and a heavy cavalry charge in the rear against peasants is just overkill. If they had kept their spearmen in the back, they actually would have been slightly more effective, as even spear militia are, can uh, really wreck heavy cavalry if used correctly, just because spears are deadly against cavalry, even more so in this uh, version of the Total War. Ooh, that's cool, killing him when he's on the ground. Now you'll notice that these guys the are breaking fairly quickly bloodied. because they're, you know... They have lost half their men. 
being shot at from behind and getting stabbed at from the front, but the moment they get in here, they'll stop routing the fight. You also notice that when they are routing and they got casualties, they became prisoners. That's how that system works. If they are routing and they start taking uh, casualties, they do not die, they just get taken prisoners. Also, uh, another minor thing that they've kind of taken out of modern games that I kind of like is uh, instead of just telling you the status of their current combat, like, oh, they're having a minor, they have a minor I victory. See George, our men have slain the enemy general. Without him, his troops will lose their will to fight. That's one thing I don't mind them getting rid of is uh, taking away from the uh, action so he can tell you about how they killed the enemy general. Um, but yeah, where was I? Ah, yes. So yeah, it just says, oh yeah, defeat is imminent. Only a military gen genius can do this, or victory is imminent. Only a fool Lord, can use this. Our men are in command minor of the city. I really like. Also, apparently this group of spearmen just got brutally massacred here by peasants. I, I'll be honest, I don't understand peasants and some archers. But, uh, ouch. I don't understand how that happened, but it did. All of Christendom will be awed by the victory we have won here today. Personally speaking, I don't think Christendom will be awed. But that's just me personally speaking. Um, so as you can see, our casualties were heaviest with our spear ship, as would be expected they were on the front. Uh, our general probably got lost a bit more than I would have liked. And they were also the only ones getting experience. Now, um, something you can see is casualties saying that apparently these are wounded men, they'll be back. And then these are casualties that were healed. The dead people that were thought dead, they're back to life. Turns out they were fine. This also uh, shows you how many prisoners were captured, uh, how many prisoners were caught, and how many men of yours were taken prisoners. So you know what you're buying back. Like, for instance, if you have a bunch of peasants that were taken prisoners, and that's all you got taken prisoners in your defeat, well, you might not be interested in paying the uh, gold to get them back. Such is the fate of all no cruel, who oppose us. That's just what happens. Victory! These also, you can exterminate populace. Kneel before yeah. us, my lord. So I guess that's not something that has changed. Yay, I've been getting gold for doing what I was already gonna do. Now traits have kind of pretty much always been a thing. And as you can see, they increase. Loyalty, this is the uh, the higher the loyalty, the less likely he is to get bribed. Piety, chivalry, command. His chivalry is not that good, so eh. he's also got a lot of traits that allow him to do a fair amount of things. They all contribute to various things, like his effectiveness at being a governor, his effectiveness at being a general. All great things that are... My Lord. Kind of Fight irrelevant time. for the purposes of uh, my explanation. Uh, as far as I'm concerned, the main thing they could do is uh, yes, if they for have God's particularly uh, interesting in traits, God's they have particularly interesting uh, on my way. speeches I during battle, sire. or perhaps they are just With that damn good sire. at uh, uh, fighting in battle. Like they might just be damn near unkillable. You know you can trust a Scott, no? Now. <laughs> these units do not retrain. I mean, they don't replenish on their own. They actually have to be sent back to an area that they can be trained at and then retrained. So, casualties in this sentence. are a hell of a lot higher and more important. Ooh, Journey on onward, okay. Your Majesty. Because, uh, yeah. You, uh... Without question, sir. You're gonna miss every single man you lose. Even some of the peasants. Daughter of the crown. As, well... That hurts. Casualties hurt. I am hurt. ready to approach. Your will, sir. Now, the reason I'm not attacking these guys is... I've played this game before, and I know they have crossbowmen, which are particularly deadly, so I'm just gonna... To battle it is, then, sire. I'm just gonna siege yes, them. Yes, sire. Besieging the enemy. The siege yeah. goes as bad, across them, which are 
very, very deadly, even against uh, heavy infantry. Well, they can be if they're uh, used effectively. Whether the AI will do that is beyond me. Now, before I go, before I end my turn, always just check. We want to get some, we want to build our income while we have this. Before we, you know, spend all of our money, we should be able to make sure we can gain all of our money. We can get in a lump sum of 10,000, which is going to go by fairly quickly. I'm going to estimate by, like, turn 10, I'm going to broke. From Scotland, noble sight. Yeah. Scotland wants, uh, trade rights and map expansion, which I'm willing to give. Now, of course... They're going to be one of the first people I conquer. Probably the first. Okay. Get four units here. And I get more units. That's uh, another thing that you can get awarded. Is just... You can either get awarded money or you can get awarded... Uh, units. Which can be pretty awesome. Port. <laughs> King William the Conqueror is known f uh, for dread, not a uh, not chivalry. So, if you're a chivalrous knight, you're more honorable and such. If you're a more dreadful knight, you're terrifying. Both have their uh, uses. I personally prefer my men to be more chivalrous. That's just me. At your service. Okay. Uh, since we need to increase that by four, we can only do two here. We'll just plop down four infantry there. Eh, once I complete the mission, ah! if I don't want them. Someone died. Oh, that was my spy. Damn. Unfortunately, uh, <laughs> that, uh, that bush trick may have worked on the, uh, undisciplined mob, but it did not work on the trained Scots. Hopefully they don't take offense to that. Now, I need to build up roads so my trade can go faster, my armies can go faster, probably the more important thing there. I need to build up my farming so I can get more food, I can get more trade, I need to tax the hell out of London because I don't care about their population right now. Ow. And I, well, their public order is so damn high because their king is there and his dread is such that people will do as they are told. Or they will die because it's King William. Okay. I have a yes, diplomat here. I'm going to send him over. Well, I guess there's no point in sending him over there now. But I'll keep him around in case I need to, you know, beg for peace. My lord. Orders. Sire. As you wish. That should have completed that mission. Oh, yeah. Before I forget, uh, we also have the Pope faction here. Which, uh... The higher your relationship is, the more likely you are to be allowed to do things like, you know, go to war with Scotland. It's a fun fact, the uh, Pope does not like Christian nations fighting other Christian nations. We can also request for him to commission our crusade. We have the Carls of Cardinals, a lot of Crusader king S things. We can look at our family tree, we can look at the faction things, we can look at armies, we can look at all the good stuff. I uh, can't not seem to find my... Ah, here they are. Yep. Well, I've done that. So hopefully that will complete. Okay. Yep. Yeah, yeah, no, I'll take this. Extremely loyal man. 
with a decent command thing. Fairly pious, young, more importantly, young. Oh, uh, and click this. Uh, headphone users beware. They're married, and that's very important because through their marriage and union, they. Oh man, Robert, bastard. Yay! Ta oh, really? My lord, orders. Sire. Man, my lord. These guys are pretty much useless, though. Orders. Anyway, Anthony, uh, you're gonna go my around, lord. and you're gonna. Sire. My lord, sire, orders, my lord, sire. You're gonna do good things. Oh. Orders. You're, uh... You're out of movement, that's right. Sire. Without question, sire. Now I'm gonna send Some my general orders. out to do some things. Because this is a major part of old Warhammer games. Building yes, watchtowers watch and tower. fortifications. As you wish. Particularly building fortifications, putting a shit ton of cavalry in it, and anyone that dares enter your territory, hurt them. I mean, greet them. France! Yes, my lord. Is what are you doing? something you wish from France? Yeah, I wish to bribe you. It is most good of you to ask us. Uh, they're bankrupt. They're also pathetic power. What the hell has gone on with them? Uh, mm, that's a good majority of my money. Nah, you're not worth enough, it. We realize it was no gift. Adieu, senor. Yes, sire. Yeah. Do I look like a diplomat? Do that's I only look three like units. Diplomat? I'd have that, so that's My Lord. fair enough. Uh, are you? You're one turn away from surrendering, so. Yeah. I'm not gonna move my men out because it's not a declaration of war yet, though if it is, I, I won't lie, that's gonna be a. Uh, Robert's gonna have more than a few problems on his hands. Sorry about that, Robert. Your Majesty. Anything that needs building? Yes, farms. Actually, no, market. Uh, great change. More economy-based things, so I can actually have one after I spend all of my gold. Oh. The French rebels are charging me. You'll see that their units are a bit under strength because they've been starving. They actually do have mailed knights and crossbowmen, both of which can be pretty devastating if used right. I shall lead our forces into battle, my lord. Uh, yes. At some point, you, there, we will be probably facing orders. elephants with, uh... Yeah. Now, because we are not actually on the attack... Oh, shit. Because we're not actually on the attack, we don't get a speech. We are being sallied. I now need you guys to run. It seems, uh, 
bit too surprised to, uh... Did you move? God, here comes the cavalry! Wait. No, charge my spearmen! Do it! Why you feel unappreciated? Okay, so I'm just gonna kill your heavy cavalry now. Oh, they were waiting for the crossbowmen to blister me. Charging. Oh no, shooting my general with fucking crossbows. Damn. Oh god damn. Stop that. I forgot to disable skirmish mode, so they've screwed me slightly. Our men are winning the battle. If we continue like this, we will smash the enemy. Well, not that many of you, uh, got involved in that particular combat, did you? Like, five of you did. Therefore, you all died. Chase them back. Their gates are open. He flees the field. Oh, Pursue and run them. them down. Get in the city. You archers are kind of useless now. It may have been happening. I do not want a uh, Battle of the Bastards scene playing out here. Instantly rally. Be like, wait, <laughs> we cannot retreat anymore. Come on, kill more of those spear militia. If we get all of them, we can just win this with my general unit. Wait, is that your general? No, that's not. Your general's probably with their, uh. No, I don't see it. Wait, that might be his general. Damn camera. Yeah, that's his general right there in the heavy cavalry. Currently surrounded and about to get murdered. What? Get him! Get him! Ah, get him, Parker. Where's my general? Where's his little clone? There he is. There's two of them left. Now watch as they murder all of my men. General just uh, cleaved two of my horses. Kill him! Kill him! Thank you. Spear through his horse's ass and straight up into his. This is a clear and, uh, victory that goes to only men of great virtue and valor. Plenty of prisoners, but again, kind of useless since they're rebels and no one's going to pay for them. Hooray! Glorious victory is ours, sire. As you commanded, sire, these lands are now yours. Wait, you want me to go over to the whole HRE? Your orders, okay. sire. I'll go over there. Yes, sire. So. 
I guess we'll do that next time. For now, I suppose this has been enough action.